After three days of seemingly fruitless searching, the police tonight finally have some kind of lead in their hunt for the escaped terror suspect, Daniel Khalif. They say a reported sighting of the ex-soldier walking away from a catering van shortly after he slipped out of Wandsworth Prison could be very significant. Earlier today, the head of Scotland Yard called his getaway strapped to the underside of a van clearly pre-planned. Khalif was awaiting trial over allegedly planting a fake bomb at an RAF base and gathering information that might be useful to terrorists or enemies of the UK. Now police are calling on him to surrender, claiming tonight that they are closing in. Daniel Khalif's means of escape from prison is captured on this footage released by the police this evening. He'd strapped himself to the underside of this food delivery van. He was working in the prison kitchen and photographs of the type of clothes he was wearing have also been made public in the attempt to track down an escapee whose whereabouts remain unknown. We are now offering a reward of up to £20,000 uh, for information that leads directly to the arrest of Daniel Khalif. We've got lots of effort trying to find Daniel. I think the public need to remember that. He's a trained soldier, so he has skills, and we need to work hard with the public uh, who are an integral part of our, our efforts here to find him. And that's what I'm focused on at the moment, is locating and arresting Daniel and bringing him back to prison. Daniel Khalif was in Wandsworth Prison awaiting trial for terrorism offences. He's also suspected of gathering information useful to a hostile state, believed to be Iran. The delivery van he used in his escape left the jail at 7.32am. It was stopped by police two miles away in Putney at 837 but there was no sign of the prisoner. Police said tonight that they'd got a confirmed sighting of Khalif. A witness saw him walking away from the van at a nearby roundabout. The police, of course, say they are keeping an open mind, but it's clear that the focus of their search for Khalif is here in London, where he was last seen crawling out from underneath that delivery van and that area in the southwest of the city where he's known to have links. As the manhunt goes on, an inquiry into how HMP Wandsworth security protocols were breached has begun. It's a, it's a question. It, did anyone inside the prison help him? Other sort of other, other prisoners, um, uh, corrupt guard staff? Was he helped by people outside the uh, outside the walls, or was it simply um, uh, all of his own uh, all of his own creation? A report into why Daniel Khalif was put in a Category B prison rather than the higher security Category A is due by the end of the week. But the more urgent question remains, where is he now? Well, Garan, it's been three frustrating and empty-handed days for the police. So getting this clue must be manna from heaven for them. Well, they're still empty-handed and there's no reason to think they're not a bit frustrated as well. This confirmed sighting of of Khalif coming out from under the truck at the roundabout. They've described as a significant development, as you mentioned, and another police officer described it today as a critical development. But it was three days mm. ago now, and they keep talking about how Khalif is a trained soldier and he's got skills and he's very resourceful. An individual like that can get quite a long way in three days. Nonetheless, the police seem convinced that he is in London somewhere, where they're still making appeals to the public for information. And you wouldn't expect the police to offer a £20,000 reward if they were closing in on their man. So this sighting at the roundabout seems like a good starting point for a manhunt where there's still a lot of work to, work to do and a, and a breakthrough to find.